Imagine a world where your greatest fears become a reality. Welcome to Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see are designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and they should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Fear Factor, two teams, three challenges, one prize, a possible £20,000. The red team of Fitness Mad, Antonia, Kevin and Charlie. Antonia and Kevin have been together for eight months and Charlie is Antonia's best friend. Antonia's clients call her the Princess of Pain. She never gives up. I've got strength, stamina, I've also got the focus and drive to get me where I want to be. Kevin is a semi-pro footballer. When he's not scoring goals, he's out clubbing in Newcastle. When I play football, I play to win. Always there to score the killer goal. There's absolutely no chance we're not going to win this competition. Charlie is paying her way through uni by teaching fitness. She once pushed someone so hard, she made them sick. I give 100% into everything that I do, which means that I always win. <laughs> The Greens are Stephen, Donna and Michael. The two boys met in primary school and Donna's known them for three years. Stephen loves playing every kind of sport, but only if he's winning. I'm a bad loser. I hate losing. I absolutely hate it. And I just have to win. Donna is a self-confessed couch potato who still lives at home with her mum and dad. My family and friends at home don't think I stand a chance with this, but I'm here to prove them all wrong. Michael quit his job to travel the world. He's a professional loafer, but a very bad loser. Pressure's on in every sense possible, and I want to win, and I'm here to do what it takes. Good morning, teams. Hi. Welcome to Buenos Aires. Thank you. You've been brought here for one simple reason, and that is to successfully complete three stunts and hopefully be the team to walk away with a possible £20,000 in your back pocket. <laughs> now, listen, Charlie, you live in Newcastle, right? Certainly do. Does that make you kind of automatically tougher than these guys, do you reckon? <laughs> Stupid question, of course. Michael and the Greens, <laughs> what do you think of them? I don't know why they're here, to be honest. I mean, like, you know, I mean, it's, it's like he's brought his makeup team. <laughs> yeah. I teach dance to nine-year-olds and they could do so much better than this team. <laughs> yeah. Nicer teas are over with, yeah? yeah Who wants to win some yeah. cash? We do, you know. We're going to win some cash. That's what I want to hear. Well, this first stunt is relatively what simple. I've brought you here today to the South Docks <laughs> here in the Port of Buenos Aires for one simple reason. It's entitled The Balance Beam. Guys, take a look over there, will you? If you look up there, you will see two horizontal sections of beamwork marked with yellow flags. Do you all see them? Yeah. For those two sections of beamwork, I want to see you on your feet walking across. If you look up in the middle, you'll also see an angled section, yeah? You can get up that any way you see fit. I don't care, but remember, it's against the clock, so make it a quick one. And finally, if any of you guys bottle it up there and you can't handle it and you want out, I want you to say to me in a nice, clear voice, Ed, I give up. Yeah, I'm not going to hear it, though, am I? No. 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 Who wants to know who's up first? Yeah, yeah. It's Donna. Go for it. Come with me, my dear, with that smiley face. Can't wait to see this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How are we feeling? A bit nervous. Yeah? Yeah. At least you're honest from the start. How's that mouth? Dry? Yep. Best of luck. Thank you. Make your way over to the platform. And good luck. Make it count, all right? Three yeah. grand. She's not looking happy now. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging, really. Oh, she's got some good. Donna, the fastest four times will bank the £3,000, all right? Get ready to go in three, two, one, go! Oh, it's shaking! Go, Donna! It's really hard! All right, it's really wobbly. Keep going, Donna! Well done, well done! Take 
My legs were shaking because of nerves. Tick tock, Donna, the clock is ticking. My arms just felt like they were burning and they were just going to fall off. That's four minutes. You keep going until you fall off. And then I just had no strength left in my arms at all. I can't do it. Oh my God. I can't do it. You can do it. Come on, dig in. You can do this. That is five uh, minutes. I can't go any further. So what have you got to say to me? I give up. Louder! Say it to your green team friends. Sorry. Get clear. I give up. Guys, just cost you three Sorry. grand. Sorry. Okay, Donna. I've got some bad news for you. The crane can't lower you down unless you let go. I've got a jump. Oh no. All of that for nothing, eh? <laughs> Where's the loser gone? She's in counselling. Good try. Right, it's all right, okay. You did well, you did well. <laughs> oh, well, you guys have seen how Over to do it. <laughs> yeah. Who's up next, do you think? Just oh. expert. I'd say it's going to be me. Okay, I think, you. Is it? Yeah. Bring it on. Oh, Excellent. Really? Bring it on, yeah. Excellent. Come on, Let's, let's go. Well Come done. with me. How are you going to feel if you don't do this? I'm going to do it. So I've got no, no answer to that question. Whoa! Give it some welly. The clock is going to start in three, two, one, you go. Come on, sweetheart, you can do this. Come on, pull up. 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 You've done better than the other. Remember, you've got four people chasing you, Charlie. You've got to move. Come on. That's two minutes. My arms gave way, but my mind took over. No pain, no gain. The second ladder was a million, trillion times harder than the first ladder. My arms were that tired, I couldn't even feel them. Get yourself to the top of the ladder. Get yourself up there and have a rest. Ladder. When you get to the top of the ladder, you can have a rest. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Keep your focus. Just say the word. Oh. Come on, get yourself across. Do it a good pace. Come on. Physically hard. I can't even feel my arms. But it was all up here. Never once did I give up. Green team. You've got a little bit quiet, guys. Are these two as fit as her, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? Come on now. Yep. Who do you reckon's next? He's the big man. Take a bite your teams. And come with me. Mark, you can do it, alright? You actually look more nervous now than you did at the beginning. Always. You feel a bit nervous? I always said, when you stand over here, Different ball game. You've got to beat 1658. Don't let the nerves get the better of you. The more okay. you think up there, the more time you're wasting, okay? Okay. Make it count, okay. big man. Right. Are you ready for this? The clock will start in three, two, one, you go. Come on, Teddy! Come on, Teddy! You're young! You're young! Take your time, take your time! Take your time, walk, Come on! The minute I started losing my balance, I thought, Run, just get to the other side. And I was running and thinking, what the hell are you doing, you idiot? Oh, mate, don't look down! Don't look down! Oh, mate, we're smiling at you here! Go on, you can see it, That's one minute, Michael, one minute! This is where Donna quit! I started to listen to the red team, and um, I just made it a sort of personal duel between me and them. Talk what a great like team a, you've got here, man! Talk about lack of personality is what I want! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Compose!
yourself and take your time. Oh, make them look down. Which way are you going to go? Go, go, go! go. I wanted to look like I was more in control. Didn't happen. It was like three steps and oops, <laughs> let's run again. Michael, can you hear me? That time was five minutes, 46 seconds. You're a big three grand for your team. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> How was this weather? Affected your game plan. Mm, it's just an extra X factor, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Still being confident. <laughs> um. Yeah. 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 Good luck. Definitely. Remember about the rain. Okay. okay? Yep. Take cool. it easy. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Focus. It's all in your head. In your head. The clock is going to start in three, two, one. When you're ready. Come on. Focus. Concentrate. Woo! We've got a nice easy run here, Antonio. The green team have got you. One minute on the clock. Antonio! Antonio! That's better. You're clear, Antonio. Come on now, concentrate. Use that upper body strength. No, it's pretty flippy! Antonio, you're doing good. Well done, Antonio. Take a breath. Not gonna make it! My upper body strength had started to fail. And my stomach muscles were failing as well. And I, I just saw the top and I just thought I'm not going to be beaten by Michael. That's on, eight minutes! Slowly! 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 I just seemed to spin out to the side and I thought, this is it, I'm going to fall. And luckily just managed to grab onto it and pull myself back on. And I really, really thought, you know, I can still fall in here. I'm not going to be too cocky until I know I've got a hold of it. Yeah. <laughs> and Tonya, <laughs> can you hear me? That was eight minutes and 54 seconds. Yeah. You're both yeah. your team three grand. You're either the coolest cucumber out here or you're the most worried. What is it? If I fall, then it'll be my own, my own fault, but... Those girls aren't going to let you live that down. You realise that? Well, you know, I'm not really sexy, so... Good on you, man. <laughs> you're mad. He's a, he's a new man. <laughs> Listen, make it count. He's going down. The clock will start in three, two, one, go! Stephen's the last to go for the greens. He has to get across the beams, up the pole, and climb the ladders while swaying 100 feet above the docks. Teammate Donna Feld, so it's the fastest four times that win. He must beat Charlie's time of 16 minutes and 58 seconds to bank the cash. The clock will start in three, two, one, go! Got to let go, Steve. Come on. That's two minutes. That's five minutes. You can still win some money. Come on. Well, I've, I've reached the end of the pole. I've, that's it. It's okay, all done now. It's just simple. Go up the ladder. Do the do the beam at the top. We all finished. Climb, climb, come on. Come on, you're twisting. Pants it, man. Pants it. You've just beat 14 minutes, come on. Stephen, your mate looks dead pleased with you. I slipped all the way, all the way right down, and then that was, that was when my knee got caught. Everything just got tight and tight and tight. And that's when I knew that there's nothing more I can do. I want you to say to me, Ed, I give up. Ed, I give up. Say to your teammates, I give up. I give up, say less. Michael, he's given up. Yes! Has he quit? He's given up. Oh. Stephen, just stay still, mate. Relax, relax. 
everyone has to do the same damn thing. There's no excuses. Do you think I it's harder? It. Do you think it's harder now than it looks? It's, it's harder than what it looks, but I could have done it. I should have done it. I should have done it. I'm absolutely disappointed. Now, if you do this, you're on, you're on course for 20 grand. Mm -hmm. Come with me, let's get it on. Go on. Okay. Come get on, you on. can do this. Take your time, Never babe. Give Keep up. breathing. What is the biggest fear? Failing this stunt or letting them down? Falling mm. off or letting them down? Now, keeping relationship going and not getting beaten <laughs> up by the karate expert. Kevin, you just have to get through this stunt. Simple as that. Three grand is yours. Three, two, one, you go. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Come on, stack it for us! I tried to pull myself along the pole, I just did not move. I just thought, oh dear, I've not got the strength and that took it out of me more than anything I've ever done in my life. Come on, you got this far, don't give up now! Give up now! You've only got four more! Every step of that ladder took so much energy. I was just clinging on for dear life and I just kept thinking, I'm having to say, I'm going to have to come down. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now steady yourself. Just steady yourself. That looks such a long side. way. Go on your side and slide. You can do this. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Congratulations, you banked your team three grand. Woo! <laughs> We've done it, the red team. Well, teams, that is it for day one. <sighs> Green team, you earned yourselves a pitiful three grand today, and that is all down to that man there's hard work. Thanks very much. Well red team, all that pumping iron down your local gym has paid off. You have banked the maximum you could have banked, nine which pounds. is 9,000. Pounds. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, I take it we've all learnt a lot today about strengths and weaknesses, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I suggest you all take what you learnt, get some rest tonight, because tomorrow's a gruesome day, guys. I don't want to say any more. There's going to be nightmares. Woo! <laughs> under immense pressure, personally. I want to win it, and I'll carry the team with me, hopefully. I'd be devastated if I failed on the next stunt, but I don't intend to. Let down the green team, so I'm 100 times more determined to complete stunt two and then bank the money for our team. In life, I drive myself to win. I have got it, both mentally and physically. We're definitely going to win the money. Nothing's going to stop it. I want to win. I want to set myself a stand and I want to achieve it. I'm in competition with nobody but myself. Good morning, teams. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Fear Factor Abattoir. Now, yesterday, we saw you walking on our balance beam 100 feet above the South Docks. Some of us. Now, that's got to be pretty hungry work, isn't it? I hope you will put your appetite today because on our breakfast menu, I'm serving up Ocos de Vaca. Now, anyone want to take a little stab in the dark as to what that could possibly be? Deep breath, everyone. Nice. So for the first part of this stunt, I want to see you eat one whole bullseye. Simple as that. And there's no clock, guys, so enjoy yourself. Savour the taste and sit back and think of it more as an entry fee into the main course, which is this. Now, hidden in that tank, there are 20 more bullseyes. All you have to do is pick up 15 and put them into this container. Sound easy? Well, I'm going to make this part of the stunt a hands-free operation. You have to move them from that tank to that container by using your mouths. 
Now that part of the stunt is against the clock. I'm going to give you two minutes to do that. Now only four of you are invited to my breakfast. So green team, because you went first yesterday, you can sit back and relax now. We have a little chat and confer and tell me who you want to see from the Reds to go first. Make it a good one, guys. Go and have a little chat. Greens, I'm going to ask Donna in your bestest voice, tell me, who's it going to be from the Reds? We choose Charlie because we want to see her put her face in the maggots and we don't think that she can complete it. Right, Charlie, are you going to go through with this? Yeah, it was so obvious that we were going to pick me. <laughs> Charlie, you ready for this? Choose your eyeball. Right. No holding noses either. Spear factor. Yeah. Spit it back out. Spit it out. Spit it out. Come on, your fingers nice, but it's nasty. Spit it out. So the first bite, which was the worst feeling ever, it was like slimy. It was like jelly, and it made me feel really sick. Sure. So I'm gonna give you a bit of help here. Don't be spitting bits out, because I'm gonna ask you to pick them up again. All right. All this gunge came flying everywhere. It tasted like horrible blood. Charlie, you can do this. Charlie, you've already started. You can do this. Think of the money. Stephen, you all right, Steve? You look scared. Yes, you are so scared. Finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it Throw it back up. Get it up. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Oh, it's gone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, you just open your mouth and look at me. Oh, ah. my God. Ah. <laughs> you have got two minutes to get 15 eyeballs out, OK? I want you to put them into this container. All 20. The clock will start when your nose touches those maggots. Come on. I didn't want to put my head in there. It stunk horrible. Come on, Charlie, get your head in there. Come on, Charlie. You've got to move quickly. You've got to move quickly. You've got to move. Yeah. Got to move. Got to move. Girl, first one. You haven't got time. I feel them crawling all over my face. I didn't want to open my eyes, but I had to. Right, that is five. The clock is ticking. You've got ten more. That is one minute. I got a mouthful of maggots. They were wriggling about, and I felt so sick. Tick top, tick top. 30 seconds left. Watching this. Three, two, one. Ooh. You could say well done if you passed. You don't hear Kevin saying you've got to get your head in there. Surely that would have been better tactics. Yeah, but you weren't looking. Kevin was saying to you, get your head in there, girl. I think I did quite well. You'd have done quite well if you'd won the three grand, but you got ten. It's more than they're going to do, so right. let's face it. I feel a bit gutted because you were on your way to a 20 grand maximum. Now you're not. But you can relax, red team, and uh, stand over here by our big bucket and uh, have a little chat. And who from the green team are you going to choose? Yes, All right. right okay. Take a good couple of bites. Definitely. Enjoy the flavour. And then bang. Red team. I don't usually make a habit of talking to, to losers. Not talking to them. Who from the green team are you going to choose? Charlie? Uh, uh, the middle one? Donna. Why That's have you option. chosen the lovely Donna? <laughs> She's a quitter. Yeah. That's a bit nasty, isn't it? She hasn't, she hasn't got it mentally. Yeah, she hasn't got yeah. mental. Yeah. You going to do this? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. You can eat one of those? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Just think it's something nice, like a big hamburger or something. Yeah. You eat hamburgers? No. Why not? Vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat it, though. Yeah? yeah? So pick your eye. Right. Pick a nice one. She's gone for a smaller one. OK. OK. No clock when you're ready. Just break it down. Take it to the front of it. Keep going to as long as the going to give us. The first bit I tried to swallow, it actually, I was heaving, but I was trying not to show it. I was sort of holding it down but heaving. Yeah, bit into the actual pupil bit of the eyeball and it just burst and liquid came squirting out everywhere out of my mouth and dribbling down my face. Can I swallow that hole? Can I swallow that hole if you can get it in there? 
It's all right. Did you study at the bucket? It's all right. My yeah. that's it! Well done! Yeah. Uh -huh. I want to say congratulations. You totally deserve your place here on the main course. That's it. Red team, yeah, Charlie especially, you think she's going to do that? Yeah. You know what you've got to do? 15 in two minutes. All right, take a stand on the pew. The clock's going to start now. Go on, push. Go on. That's it. That's it. Well done. Well done. That's two. Keep your head back in That's it. Well done. That's five, Donna. Keep on moving. I picked up a mouthful of maggots and I could just feel them all wriggling around in my mouth. It was horrible. That's eight. That's eight. Go on, my girl. One minute's gone. Two faces. Two faces. That's 11, you've got to get moving, come on! Shift your head in there, come on! Four, three, two, one! Donna, Donna, Donna. That was a class effort, Donna. Absolutely pointless because you've got now. It's brilliant stuff. How did it feel? Oh, in there, it's horrible. What's worse, the eyeballs or that? Them, you can feel them like grabbing at your face. Donna, who's it going to be? Um, it's going to be Antonia because we don't think she can do it, basically. She's never not, not done anything in her life. She's yeah. picked the wrong person there. There. Yeah. Okay. Come on, chuck it back up. Ugh, absolutely awful. So nice. You look like John Rambo with that headscarf on. That's what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the knowledge thing. <laughs> Go for gold. I want to see some bites taken out of it. <laughs> just tried to bite off the bits of flesh and it was just, oh, wasn't going down. Ah, 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 ah. Don't let all the bits go out. And as soon as I tried to swallow the first bit of the, the retina and all of the, the inner bits, I felt like I was going to gag. If you can swallow that all in one go now, I'll let you go. You can have it. Get a bit of juice to help it slide down. <laughs> Go on, girl. Get it in there. Bish bash bosh. You ready? The clock's going to start when your nose touches those maggots. Start the clock. I managed to stick my face in, but I could hear them all wriggling over each other. I was really scared by that. They seemed to clip onto either my nose or my tongue, and I, I completely freaked. Your head, 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 head. Push him out now. You have to find the last one. No, push him out. Push him out. Push him out. One there. One minute on the clock. One there. Good girl. Good girl. That's 12 guys. That's 13. I had to really stick my face in, in all of the maggots and move them around to find the last three. You are not going to do that, boy. Excellent. Well, we know what time it is, don't we, Reds? Comedy time, isn't it? Yeah. Choose wisely, guys. Choose wisely. Oh, there's a magnet. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> OK, Reds, tell me why and who you have picked from the Greens. I picked Stephen because he's not going to get his neck in. <laughs> That's a bit strong, isn't he? You can see he's got good muscles on his neck and he's not going to get his head in there. He looks strong. Steve, you going to do this? Bad up. Now, you know the rules. You've seen three people in front of you go. Pick an eyeball, take your time, listen to your team. Shoot an eye, one. You're giving you a choice here. For me, the easiest way that I thought I could do this was to get it in the back of my teeth and just, just crush, it. crush it. it. Just crush it right down. Deep breath. Pull it apart. Go on, bad boy. Give it a bit of a pound. I want to give you three grand, man. You have no right. idea how much I want to give you three thousand pounds. Give me some help. <laughs> Go on, Steve. Three grand is yours. I can feel this three grand is yours for the bank. Go on. Let me see. Ah, you. Okay, Steve. I want fifteen out in two minutes. All right. The clock will start when your nose touches. Okay. That's it, go on, you can do it. Start the clock! Come on, That's it, that's it. That's one. Steve, get moving, get moving, Steve. 
That's two. two. That's three. That's six. Come on, Steve. My technique to get the ones at the corners, it's going to sound a bit nasty, was to put my tongue out and just like try and move the eyeballs out with my tongue. Come on! 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 Turn around, want them out of the team to see the happiness on my face. I want to see the anger in their eyes that I've completed this task. Well, guys, listen up. I'm going to do a bit of tallying up now. After today's fantastic efforts, Stephen, you banked three grand for your team. Well Add that to yesterday's three grand, you're on six. It's not bad work after two days. Hang on, what's that total? Ooh. <laughs> Red team, you banked three grand today on top of yesterday's okay. nine, that is 12. <laughs> Now listen up, if you do not win tomorrow, you could have had a maggot facial and a bullseye chaser for nothing. The team that win tomorrow will be taking home the cash they've won. The losers get nothing. It's that simple. Guys, if you can, sleep well tonight and come out farting in the morning. There's all to play for. Well done, big man. Take it easy. Absolutely horrible. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared of rats, that's about it. I'm not as scared of losing because we're not going to lose. We've come to win and that's what we're going to do. I'm here to prove to everyone that there's no such thing as second best. Only winners win. Not being picked for slump two uh, left me really uh, wound up, so I'm ready for it. I'm trying to prove that I can be the best I can be. I'm going to win. I'm going to beat the guys. I'm not used to losing. Too competitive. We're definitely going to win this competition. I want to prove that I am made of hard material. I am a winner, I am never, ever a loser. Good morning teams, how are you all doing? Okay. Bye. All right, I'd like to welcome you all to these disused sewer works here in the bowels of Buenos Aires. Now on day one, you lot braved the balance beam. Whoa. On day two, you fish for bullseyes in a sea of maggots, but all that could be in vain if you do not win this final stunt. Greens, you have banked 6,000 pounds. Reds, you have banked 12. Now, because this is the final stunt, to make things a little bit more exciting, there is five grand riding on this one. So that means today, Greens, if you win, you're taking home 11,000 pounds. Reds, if you win today, you're taking home a whopping 17,000 pounds. Now, directly beneath our feet, is a sequence of drainage tunnels. All you have to do today is go in through that manhole and hopefully come out through that manhole. Now you will be required to complete this stunt in total darkness. The fastest time will be the one that takes the money. Do we all understand? Good. Now only four of you, one boy and one girl from each team will be taking part. I'm gonna leave you now to confer, guys, Please pick carefully, all right? You guys at home will be seeing an infrared picture. They cannot see a thing. Also, we have added rats, eels, and water to the equation. OK, Greens, who have you chosen? Uh, the green team's going to choose myself and uh, Donna. Right, why is that? The reason that is because we believe down there is going to be, uh, there's going to be small gaps, there's going to be lots of little things. We're going to need to, to be uh, agile and okay. to get in tight places. OK, Steve, how do you feel about that? For absolutely positive. Mark was the man. Okay. So it's Donna. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Red, who have you chosen? Myself and Kev. All right, so why have you chosen yourself, Antonia? Tell me. Um, Charlie and I could both do it, but I completed yesterday. Um, and I know I can do it. OK. Charlie, how do you feel? Absolutely fine. It's Antonia's choice. But I think she's got the slight edge of speed over okay. me. From this moment on, because this is a tactical challenge, 
I do not want to hear any conferring between teammates before, during, or after this stunt. If I hear anyone even mutter the words good luck to their teammate, I'll fell that team on the spot and the other team will win the cash. Now, any time during this stunt, if you are down the tunnel and you guys cannot handle it, all I want to hear from you is please, nice and clear, let me out. Donna, can you stay here with me? And all other teammates and opponents, please go back to your marks. Off you go. Stay quiet, guys. Thank you. Come with me. What wouldn't you like there to be down there? Rats. Rats? Yep. Don't like rats? No. Well, let's pray there's none down there, yeah? Yep. Right, slowly, slowly step back. Yep. Okay, go down and just keep looking forward. Remember, fastest time wins. Okay. You have got time to hang around, okay? Okay. Clock will start when I slam this lid shut, alright? Okay. My heart was starting to flutter and I felt a bit panicky. What was going through my head was I've got to complete it, got to complete it, we've got to beat the red team. an idea that there was something else down there, and then a rat ran across my foot. <laughs> oh! Started freaking out, my breathing was going all funny, my heart was beating, and I felt tears in my eyes. I just stood there for as long as I could, just saying to myself, come on, don't cry, don't cry, we can do it, we can do it. <laughs> oh! I trod on a rat and it squealed so loud and I just completely freaked out. Oh. And I had to get out. Couldn't do it. Can you get me out? Can we get her out, please? <laughs> She's panicking down there. Stay calm, stay calm. Close your eyes and stay calm. You all right? Yep. I could feel them moving all near me. How are you feeling now? I feel sick. Go and join your teams on your mark. Do not say a word to anyone. Okay. Kevin, come and join me, please. Feeling. Don't particularly want to go down there, but any fears we don't know about? It's the final stunt, so you might as well tell me. Whatever it is, I'll kick it or punch it straight up out the other side. When that manhole shuts, the clock will start ticking. Okay, ready? <laughs> Let's see if he can do any better than eight minutes twenty-two. When the lid went down, it was pitch black. I knew if I panicked in there, I would be in there for quite some time. One minute's just gone. I was wet through and putting my hands on slug-type, slimy, horrible things. I don't know what they were. The clock! Come on! Absolutely horrible. I don't know what's down there. Does it scare you? 
That is not nice. How are you feeling? No. <laughs> don't say anything to your teammates. I don't want to fail you now. Now, for the benefit of Michael's teammates and also the red team, if he does not beat Kevin's time of 1 minute and 43 seconds, the red team automatically win. Antonia does not need to get her lovely hands dirty. Simple as that. The only time you've got to have running through your head is 1 minute 43 seconds. All right? How are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? Ready. Confident? Ready. As soon as this slams shut, you go, OK? 1 minute 43. Thirty seconds. Forty five. One minute. One minute thirty. Forty, forty one, forty two, forty three. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Now listen to me a second. I think we all heard forty three and his head came up, did we not? Yeah. Right, listen. My guys are going to check the tape and we're going to make sure. Do not talk. Everyone stay quiet. Right, guys, just come back from the producers. Michael and Kevin, there was 11 hundredths of a second between your times. Couldn't have been any closer. I have great pleasure in telling the green team they're still in. Right, green team, are we okay? It's all down to this. Young lady on the red team, you've got to beat 143, okay? Wish you the best of luck, guys. Stay here, do not confer. Come with me, young lady. First up, how does it feel to have this much pressure on those oh, shoulders? Can't even talk for a change. <laughs> What's going through your head? I'm going to show Lara Croft how it's done. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to raid that tomb. Seventeen grand riding on this one for you, my dear. You ready for this? Right. Antonia, you have to beat one minute forty-three. Otherwise, the Greens. Well, I'm going to be giving them their money. Okay. And I'm going to leave you down there. Okay. Okay. Thirty seconds. One minute. One minute fifteen. One minute twenty five. One minute thirty five. Thirty nine, forty. One minute forty one, forty two, forty three. Green team, need I say any more? You made light work of stuff one, the balance beam.
You had a hell of a lunch on day two with our bullseyes, <laughs> and you have conquered <laughs> our tunnel crawl. Yes. You are taking home to Brighty £11,000. <laughs> Stephen, Michael, and Donna, you have proved that fear is not a factor for you guys. Oh. Enjoy the money. <laughs> <laughs> Do not share that money with your teammates. They do not deserve a penny of that. Fail three times. Fail. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Don't share that money with them. You're the only one who failed. Fail three times and you won. <laughs>